Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Tico from Music IDTV, and this is Use the News. So, Spotify wants to connect artists with industry professionals with CoLab, Co.Lab, which is slated for New York and LA events. Now, this is just another, I would say, thing that Spotify is trying to do to pander to artists, despite the fact that they get such harsh criticism with their low payouts. But at the end of the day, access is access is access. Now, Spotify, I would definitely say, based off of this report, this isn't any different from any normal music conference you could go to. ASCAP, I Create Music, uh, NAMM Show, different things that you can kind of go to. And this is just Spotify, I would say, throwing its hat in that ring. But the difference is that Spotify has its own perspective because it is the number one streaming service. And so its insight, I would say would be even more valuable than a lot of other options when it comes to music conferences because Spotify is more so on the ground floor when it works in the streaming world or how things work in the streaming world, mind you. So when you come to whether or not I should go to this music conference, whether or not I should go to that music conference, I would suggest at least trying out Spotify's music conference because it may give you some insight on how to utilize the platform even more so than any of these other conferences was. And I'm not really like super, you know, Spotify, team Spotify in no way, shape or form, but I'm very much so team y'all who gets the information and can utilize that for your benefit. I'm always about the artist. So I would suggest definitely taking advantage of this if you can. And I say if you can, because there are a couple stipulations. One of those being, of course, you have to be using Spotify for artists. They want to keep pushing Spotify for artists. They want to be the artist platform, I guess, which We'll see how that all works out with this Music Modernization Act that comes into play. But you have to use Spotify for artists and you have to have at least 1K followers on Spotify. So definitely encourage people you to, to follow you on Spotify if you have not been doing that. If you do not fit those stipulations, of course, you probably can't take advantage of this now. But this just lets you know some of the things that Spotify is valuing on its platform. They want people to be followed on Spotify and they want artists using Spotify for artists. So. If you are not in a position to take advantage of that, I definitely say do those two things. Start to use Spotify for artists just so you can get more information on your data and you can kind of have a little bit of a better grasp on how to manipulate, not manipulate, but how you can edit your presence on the platform. And also I would definitely encourage you to get people to follow you on Spotify because once you do, whenever you release something, people are notified that you've released some new music. Beyond that, let us know if you are using Spotify for artists, because if you are not, Spotify is not messing with you. Just to be honest, Spotify is not really concerned. No, I'm just kidding. But Spotify is definitely favoring people using Spotify for artists. So let us know if you're using that. And beyond that, be sure to share with a friend, like, subscribe for more videos. Once again, my name is Suko from Music IDTV, and this is Use the News. Sayonara, people.